But yeah, guys, so she is just completely covered in mud in our paws and just from playing on the edge of the pond here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to clean that up. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have Jolie with me and she is a standard poodle. Um, she's about two years old and she has just been having the time of her life running outside and being in her pond and all that stuff. So she kind of stinks right now. I wish you could smell her. Oh, it's awful. Um, but yeah, so it's just pond water and it's just, ugh, it's gross. But anyway, um, you should see her feet. I'm gonna show you a close up of that. It's just covered in mud and dirt and I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that. Um, she also needs her nails trimmed and she also needs like the hair shaved from her feet. So it's called clean feet and I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Yeah guys, so she is just completely covered in mud in our paws and just from playing on the edge of the pond here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how to clean Take a good look at her paws. Oh, it's so gross and they're crunchy. It's just disgusting. Um, she needs a bath and brushing and, and then we're gonna go ahead and like I said earlier, trim up these feet. So they have hair on the top and then hair in, in the, the bottom part of the paw here that we're gonna trim all out. Ugh. All right, let's get you in the tub, girl. Let's get you in the tub. Yeah, you wanna go in the tub? All right, guys, now it's part of the bath where I'm going to go ahead and express the anal glands. You're going to put your fingers at like the three o'clock and the eight o'clock position and push and pull back towards your hand. And you should get this nasty stuff out. And you go ahead and just rinse it off. And the next step is to use some soap and clean her all up. And don't forget while you're getting her all soaped up to really work those paws. Get in between each and every toe. My oh, poor baby here, she wants to lick. So I don't let her lick the soap because that's not really good for her tummy. But um, I go ahead and just scrub her paws really good. Get all that mud and junk off. You can see in the tub, it's kind of just coming off and going around the drain. But this is really good in between each and every toe. Guys, make sure when you're rinsing your dog off, you make sure you turn them around, get the soap that's on the other side, and just really rinse very good. Because if there's any soap left on the fur, it can really start to irritate the skin even after the bath. So here I'm gonna go ahead and condition. So I like to use this um, watered down conditioner on her ears, her top knot. I use a little bit on the body as well. And, um, and I especially do those paws because she's got those bracelets on. So I really work them in the paws really nice and good, all four of them. These are just the spots that she gets the most knotted because um, there is the most hair there. So I like to condition these um, areas the most. And I definitely can't forget the tail too. And now it's time to rinse all of her off. So make sure when you're rinsing that you rinse, you know, try not to get it too much in her eyes, but you know, just rinse it out really, really good. And even when you think, oh yeah, there's nothing left there. I'm good, I can get her out. Rinse one more time, just to be extra sure. Okay, everybody, so we're out of the tub and we're ready for our blow dry. But before I do blow dry, I'm gonna go ahead and trim up those nails guys if you are enjoying this video um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and so you can see more transformation videos like these get more ideas about grooming and how to's and all that stuff so go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to like and share stop
した。Okay guys, she's all nice and blow dried. Look how beautiful she looks. Oh, she's gorgeous. What a good girl. Um, so yeah, now we're ready to move on and trim up those feet. All right, everyone. So as I'm going along here, um, I start by going upwards towards the bracelet itself. Um, I do use the bracelet as my guide um, to where to stop uh, um, with my clippers or I'll go down to. Um, so I just start it where that pom pom or bracelet or whatever you call it is, and um, and then just go downwards towards the toes or upwards towards the bracelet until you can get a nice clean shave on a paw. Now this does take some time and some patience. Um, I mean my dog's fairly good. Um, she does have moments where she wants to pull back and pull away, but you just kind of you have to hold on to that ankle part <laughs> right right above the toes and. Don't let them pull on you like that, you know, and just really be strong and stay with it. So what my dog just doesn't like is the vibration of the clippers and go in between the toes like that. I pull the hair back with my thumb and then I try to scoop out all of that fur that's in between the toes. I'll manipulate my clippers to go from one side and then to the other side as you see. Um, I try really hard not to like really do this aggressively um, because it, the, the dog does not like that. Um, and you know, those clippers, it can hurt if they real, if you like kind of uh, poke them with the edge of the clippers. So all this is supposed to be doing is like just kind of smoothly running along the skin to shave off the fur. And hopefully guys in this video, you can see what I'm doing. I'm hoping of getting the camera at a good angle. You see how she just pulled no. back and, or she wants to lick it and stuff. And I won't let her do that. I just kind of pull her right back and you know, nope, we're going to get this done, you know? Um, and we just kind of scoop in and go in and, um, and, oh, I am using a 10 blade too. If you're curious of what um, size blade I'm using here, it's a 10 blade. I don't like using the 30 blade. Um, it's just not my favorite so and you saw that I just checked the clippers to make sure they weren't too hot for her little paw um, and now I'm just kind of just trimming up and, and doing a little detail and we're going to move to the back side of the paw and then I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video um, because it's just it's so time consuming to do all these paws for you but I wanted to give you one good paw for, for me to do for you. And then here I'm do going ahead and doing the back side of the paw and you do the same thing. It's like a, a little triangle shape in the paw. And so you just go ahead and scoop in and you're just gonna get the fur out like that, scoop. And um, then you're gonna turn your clippers around to the other side and you're gonna scoop out that way and you can go towards 
the toenails if you want. Guys, this is just my method of doing it. Um, if you have an easier method and that's how you, then, then that's great. You can do it your way. Um, but this is just my way of going along and trying to shave out the hair that's in her paw. It's not good really to leave it in there. It just irritates her, her toes in between her toes and her paw. And, and it's just for her, not great. And it also helps like track things in the house and gets the house all muddy and stuff. But with clean feet, just like this, a beautiful clean foot she's not going to track as much dirt and mud and and junk into my house and my sweet little joey here loves to just run and go play in the mud and the dirt around the pond so this is gonna keep that from tracking all of my house all completely done and you see the difference look very good it looks very good that's the other one and here is the new so we're looking good Looking good, Jelly. Looking good, baby. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and speed up this video for y'all as I get the rest of her paws. Um, it's just so time consuming to do clean feet in real time. So hopefully you can enjoy this part. Okay, everybody, here she is. Oh, you're looking so beautiful, girl. Hold on. You get so beautiful. Okay. And then we're going to come in and we're going to see these feet. Look how pretty these feet are in that one. Oh, look how gorgeous. And she's got her, her bracelets kind of going over them a little bit. It's almost time for us to trim up the bracelets, too. But they are pretty, pretty feet. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, girl. <laughs> okay. Let's see these feet. Oh, look how pretty. And then the bottom of the feet looking nice and clean and very good. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Very beautiful, girl. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And we will see you next time.